Hey, Funkheads, what's going on? My name's Terry Wellbanks. I am coming to you from my dungeon of Funkos. The reason for the video today is I want to review a couple of uh, Funkos that I got a chance to pick up over the weekend. I also wanted to um, go into a couple of things that have been uh, that have been bothering me a little bit, and also tell you guys about a new group that I've opened up in the in the area. So I'm going to go ahead and start by showing you guys a couple of the pops that I got. Um, the first one that I wanted to show you guys is the Punisher Pop. Um, the Punisher is part of the Daredevil set. I do not have the Chase as of yet. I have pre-ordered, so I am definitely hoping to. Um, this Pop itself is pretty is pretty awesome. I'm going to take them out of the box so you guys can see them a little bit closer in detail. In this set, there's Elektra, Daredevil, and the Punisher. There's also a Punisher Chase. Um, where he's holding Daredevil's head. Again, I definitely want to get that one, but here he is. This is him in all of his glory. He's got a nice gun on the back there. Just a, you know, the detail in the pop's really well done, and I and that's why I wanted to pull it out for you guys so you could see it. Um, I'm not a big fan of the bobbleheads, but lately, I don't know what it is. The bobbleheads, like the actual head itself, seems to be down more, um, and it's not as springy. I remember getting uh, getting an Incredible Hulk, and it literally looked like it, like it was like his neck was a giraffe neck. So I don't know if you guys have ran into that with the bobblehead style, but um, the Punisher is an awesome one. And if you can pick them up, get the regular or the Chase. I, I think they're both pretty awesome. Obviously, I want the Chase because he's holding Daredevil's helmet, but this pop is awesome. So uh, if you have a chance to get the Daredevil, please do. It's uh, Daredevil, Punisher, the whole set. The Electra even looks great. So pick that up. Another one that I wanted to show you guys. Um, my local Hot Topic only allowed uh, consumers to buy one, which I know a lot of you guys will like. Um, but for me, it kind of stunk because as much as I, I, I like this set, I didn't want to actually keep it for myself. I wanted to pick it up for other, for other collectors that could not get it. But this set is the 11 and Barb upside down under, uh, underwater, uh, upside down Barb 11 <laughs> from Stranger Things. Um, it's a two-pack, and it comes with a, I guess, an upside-down version of Barb. It would have been cool if there was, like, a snake or something coming out of the mouth area, because from what I remember from the show, uh, when they found her, uh, she had a big... I guess it's a snake, right? Well, if it wasn't a snake, let me know. But, uh, but yeah, this is, uh, this is the set here. I'm not going to take it out because this isn't for me. I promised this to a fellow collector. I did get my one, and I'm going to make sure that he has it because I think that he'll love it more than me, and really that's what it's all about is making sure that we get the ones that we really like, right? So now I want to show you guys an, a grail that I got um, in a trade with an amazing, uh, amazing woman. Um, she's trying to collect the Stranger Things set for her daughter. And she had told me about this in passing, and I I mentioned to her that I have a couple of, of the pops that she may be looking for. So I was able to complete her set for her daughter, which her birthday is coming up at the end of March. And I got her uh, the Chase 11 with Egos, and I was also able to secure her a Lucas. Um, I, now, I know Lucas is just a common, but in my passings, I haven't been able to see him a whole heck of a lot, so... I thought it was pretty cool that I was able to help her out. And her daughter gets her complete set, which is awesome. And then she went out of her way to offer me one of her pops that she said she liked, but she didn't love. And obviously, I'm going to love this thing forever. What I have here is the Chase version glow-in-the-dark Beetlejuice. Um, number five, his pop is amazing. I don't know if you have the regular one. A lot of people have the regular one, but uh, but he is something else. And, and I couldn't be more excited to get him and uh, and, have, and have him in my collection forever. So... This is a pretty cool pop. I, I'd, lo I'd love to know what kind of chases you guys have, and if you have chases, and if you like chases, if you care about them, if you don't, uh, if, if you want to collect them, or whatever the case is, I'd love to be able to hear that. And as well for the comments in the section of the video, um, if you've noticed and, and you watch any, and you watch my previous video, I definitely reply to every single comment. Um, it means the world to me that you guys are even taking time to watch my video and watch me talk, so it's greatly, greatly appreciated. And, uh, and it definitely means a lot. So I will definitely take time to respond. And, and there's so many great people that, that have watched the video that have spoken to me. Um, and, uh, and they agree or disagree with the whole flipper thing that I talked about in my last video. Which, by the way, if you haven't seen, please check it out. Um, and let me know what you think. But I, uh, 
I find it I find it extremely frustrating in in a couple of ways that that I found out about this community of Funko collecting before before I really got involved with groups and and involved with people. I noticed that uh, I was just doing my own thing. I would go to uh, Toys R Us. I would go to Walmart. I would go to um, Hot Topic. I would go over to EB Games and I'd pick up my pops and I was just doing my own thing. Once I started to get involved in the trading aspect and the buying aspect of ones that I couldn't find at, at EB and Hot Topic, I gained a lot of friends and there's so many amazing people in this community of Funko collecting um, and, and collecting in general. I, I've met guys that just collect horror stuff um, and, and also Funkos and their collections are so awesome and I love seeing the pictures of everybody's collections because whether it's big or small, everybody seems to have this same excitement level. Um, the, the only time that I, I think I've ever seen anybody get not excited was when they had so many that they didn't know what to do with uh, in terms of putting them somewhere and making them, and making them look good. So, um, But it, it's extremely frustrating, the underbelly of Funko collecting. And, and what I mean by that is, is that there is, there is a, a large majority of individuals that collect Funkos that are, again, purposely in it to make money. Um, purposely in it for themselves, purposely in it for for the non-community aspect, but for themselves. Which, which again, you can't knock somebody for trying to um, move off of some of their older pops and trying to sell them for for a little bit more because that's what the market gauges, right? The market gauges pop price guide, uh, eBay. A lot of people say don't go to Amazon, but if you couple in the three, you know, even this Beetlejuice here is is probably worth about a hundred dollars American, I would think. So, I mean, I would never sell them. And if I was going to sell them, I don't think I'd sell them for a hundred bucks, but that's just me personally. So there's, there's a lot of individuals that have a hustle going on in this, in this collecting and, and a lot of people that are uh, pop police, I guess, I guess you can, you can call them. And there is some really mean people in, in this, in this form of collecting that I have never seen before. A little backstory about me is I come from, um, I come from a sales background, things like that. Uh, about five, six years ago, I was heavily, heavily involved in mixed martial arts, MMA, or uh, or for the layman, I guess, UFC, um, the, the fighting, to the point to where I was hosting events for the UFC fighters. I was also uh, involved in, in, a, in having a store. Um, I worked within a gym. Um, I knew all the fighters, and I, and I still know lots of them. They're all amazing people, but there was a lot of shady people in there and and they were agents and myself included I did some things that that I shouldn't have done and uh, and I regret it big time um, but you just get caught up in this whole in this whole atmosphere and I think I, I, on a on a on a smaller scale because we're not dealing with people we're dealing with toys I think it's very much the same I think there's a lot of people that are that are very um, they're very condescending they treat other people as if they're dumb um, they they act as if they're better than everybody else because they may have 40 chases or they may have uh, a collection that, that other people don't have. I see people post a collection where they have 10 or 12 pops and they're like, hey, look at my collection, I'm just starting. And then somebody in the comments, instead of saying, you know, amazing or, uh, or looks great and can't wait to see what it looks like in a few months, they just post a picture of their massive wall of pops and, uh, and just say, this is mine. I mean, everybody has a right to, to show pictures, and, and again, I love seeing anybody's collections. I don't care if it's if it's a big collection, small collection, whatever the case is. But I cannot believe the amount of uh, disrespect for other people that goes on in this in this in this form of collecting, and I can't believe the amount of talking behind people's backs. It seems like everybody knows everybody, at least where I'm from, and uh, if if they're into really big collecting, and I've had people approach me for different things. And, and different avenues and I'm just a I'm just a, a guy that wants to buy pops I love doing review videos um, I, I love meeting new people and I want to make new friends but I don't want to get involved in any drama in regards to uh, siding with one group or siding with another or getting involved with some people that other people don't like blah 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 I just I just want to buy and trade pops I have no interest in getting involved in things like that and and that's ultimately what it is it's a toy right so it, it's so ridiculous that, that that I can that I'm talking this seriously about about Funkos like it's uh, it should be me showing you guys the pops and you saying hey I really like them or I don't but it always seems to be something 
and uh, and, and it, it's, it's driving me crazy. So what I did was I actually created a group on Facebook that I would love for everybody watching this to join if they can. Um, you can look it up in the in the group section on Facebook. It's called Funko GTA Bidding Wars. And what I want to do is I want to set up like a little auction page where people can put some auctions up, but it's also not limited to that. If you do videos, I want you to post your videos. Um, if you have something that you want to say, I want you to say it. Uh, I, the, the only thing that I want to stay away from is people um, trying to degrade other people directly or say names, things like that. I don't want any of that. Um, I don't want any sub hate either. But, but, but I mean, if you have something to say about uh, about flippers or you have something to say about um, people people trying to sell their products for an insane price and you want to voice your opinion, who are we to say no in these groups, right? Um, I don't want confrontation, but at the same time, I want people to be able to feel like they have a free flat, a free platform for collecting. Um, and uh, and another thing, very very quickly, that I wanted to touch on is the embarrassment sometimes of collecting Funkos. I'm a 35 year old dude, and um, when I go into a, an EB or I go into a Hot Topic, they know exactly what Funkos are, and they're not worried about it. But let me tell you how embarrassing it is when you go into a Best Buy because they have an exclusive pop that you want to get. And once you get there, you, uh, you, you ask the associate for, hey, do you guys have uh, the new Funko Pop that came in for whatever, let's just say Gears of War for this sake. And, and I want a new Gears of War, but it's only exclusive to Best Buy. And the employees look at me like I am a Martian. They look at me like they don't know what I'm talking about. And then I have to explain to them that I'm trying to buy a toy um, you know, and, and, and what it is and how it's all about. And I, I just think if stores are going to carry the products, um, I really believe that their associates should know exactly what they are. I don't know if you guys agree. And, and, and I mean, it's all part of the hunt, I guess. And we go to places that sell these pops for a reason because we know that we can find them. Um, but it's, uh, it's definitely, I was definitely embarrassed when the, when the girl looked at me, like I was, I, I was an imbecile for wanting to buy, for wanting to buy a, a little three and a half inch toy so uh, I, I just wish that the employees would definitely get a little bit more knowledgeable on the products if they're going to carry them through their companies I understand Best Buy has millions of products so what are we supposed to do right I mean they, they can only know so much especially if they're designated to a section so um, thank you so much for watching my next my next video should be a pop in a box unboxing I'm also getting the Superman DC Legion of Collectors box I also have a box coming from somebody that I met um, through the thread on one of my videos that uh, I, I might actually cry when I open this box if if what he's sending is what it is. I am, I am over the moon enthralled about what the possibilities are that he may be sending me. It's a gentleman from the United States that uh, that has been nothing but amazing. And everybody that I've talked to in the comment section, whether you agreed with my last video or you didn't, um, you've been nothing but amazing and I truly appreciate you guys. And I hope that you'll continue to watch. If you have any suggestions for videos or, or anything that you think that I should cover, please let me know and I will gladly cover those. And also, if you have a YouTube channel, let me know uh, in the comments section and I will subscribe to your channel as well, especially if you take time to subscribe to mine. It means the world to me. So, like I said, um, if you can look up that Facebook page, it is the Funko GTA Bidding Wars. And you can also check me out on Twitter if you want, at Terry Wellbanks. And uh, if you have any questions and you want to ask me anything, you can always PM me on Facebook as well. That's my name. So check me out, okay? Uh, much love as always. And again, go out and get that Punisher. Go out and get this Barb if you can. And 11, the 2-pack. Um, all these things are amazing. And uh, you should definitely pick them up. All right? I'll do more reviews for you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, much love. Thank you.